right, so most of you guys who watch the vlog know my best buddy, Hoppy. And since I've known Hoppy, he's wanted to pick up some drift trikes. You guys aren't sure what drift trikes are, they are three-wheeled bicycles that go sideways. I've always been a four wheels on the ground type of drift guy, but today Hoppy found some that are pretty affordable, so we're gonna go check them out. I don't know what today's gonna bring. I don't even know if this is gonna end up on the channel, but if you guys are watching this, it ended up being a pretty fun day, so I hope you enjoy the ride. Let's get to it. dudes we're pulling up to take a look at some drift trikes some assembly required which is going to be interesting frames separate from the motors these are motorized drift trikes so this will be pretty fun if we do end up picking them up but we're going to see what we can find and i don't know see if we can get sideways first <laughs> cool let's go can't wait to see you guys send me pictures of it all going <laughs> you might get a video hey you guys got an extra seven grand i got a race car i'll tell you too so carrie has no idea <laughs> zero <laughs> hello about drift strike. <laughs> Two of them. You want to see? <laughs> All right. Bring the Skittles. <laughs> we should get a small lift for them because it's hilarious. Almost there. You did it. Drift strike. Oh, that's not what I thought you meant. Got All right guys, so to give you a little breakdown on the two contraptions we purchased today, Hoppy purchased today, one of them is an electric drift trike, one of them was a gas drift trike. So this one here was the gas one. This is a uh, mount for the engine here. We did get the, where's the engine mount right here? This is the 212cc Predator engine for the back of it. I think we looked it up, made about six and a half horsepower. This is the connection back here for the, it's called a live axle. So axle that runs through the back of the trike, rear wheel drive. Obviously engine spins the gear here and that's how it drives. So that is, uh, that's this one, gas driven rear wheel drive. And then we got this one, we got this one back here, which is, uh, this one is a front wheel drive electric contraption. So, or at least we believe it's front wheel drive. This here would be the, is this the drive unit or is this just a fancy brake? That's definitely a drive. Unit. Yeah. So this one would be front wheel. Disc brakes right, right. Down. And then so this one would be front wheel drive and would drag the rear wheels uh, with these really cool plastic tires, which the guy who sold them to us gave us all of this tire material. Apparently it's about 80 bucks a tire if you don't uh, if you don't make them yourself. So we're definitely gonna be doing that. We were kind of chatting earlier too, and we were wondering if we should just go rear wheel drive on both of them. Like if should we put the should we do that like a rear axle like that just in this one? Because it might be a little bit more fun and a little bit more of like a true drift feel with rear wheel drive, but I don't know. Never drove a drift trike. All right, guys, so we're actually back for day two here on the drift trikes. Hoppy's made a ton of progress. Let's get you all caught up. My JDM intake. Turbo. Nice turbo, dude. That's sick. I rebuilt the whole car, put a new master jet in it. I had to get a new ignition coil. So this is a whole new ignition coil, new spark plug. I ripped the oil sensor off, rewired the whole thing, redid the whole on-off switch. I, I found this in the box of parts, so I threw this entire throttle assembly on. New cable. Newish. Cable. Nice old BMX in Oh yeah, dude. It works good, minus the resistance of that rod. And then so. you said you were gonna rig something up here. You have too much slack on that cable, is that what you're saying? No, so it's just this rod coming through this hole, it rubs. So oh, you can I see, see it doesn't return, but it's it's rubbing here. Oh, so I'm gonna like put friction. this here, just so this can kind of free free flow. Uh -huh. I gotta add a spring. Couldn't you just bend this? Can you loosen kinda, this and then just bend that? Kinda, yeah, but this, this wouldn't this be see, stiffer, like, wouldn't there be better response out of a stiffer cable? Wouldn't because the way this this, like yeah. bending it's kind of just a pain I'd have to put like a rainbow in it this way and then wouldn't it be quicker though to get off throttle like de throttle with, with it's a stiffer like when you let off the throttle it might be slower well, that's to what slow the springs down. are for oh okay there's a return spring uh, and then this spring here oh, this see. one's for your choke it's so then, easy did you say that it wasn't getting sparked and so you oh so I had to replace the ignition coil because this line had oh, that's split over here down here plugs actually right here I have it plugged ignition coil comes to over here and then your actual wire comes over over here for your on-off switch, spark plug here, your ignition coil is down behind the carburetor, uh, under here, it's kind of a pain in the ass to, to pull apart and show you. Wow, that's pretty cool. So does it run? Um, not right now. <laughs> it's in pieces. But you did run it, didn't you? Oh uh, yeah, it took me about a day to get it running. And you just rode it around the grass? <laughs> I took it right there, you can see my divots. I gave up that way, and then I hit a patch of mud, <laughs> and I just won, and I was like, oh shit. and then Jeff went out that way, and gave her a little too much in the front yard, and uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I was going to say you had the plastics on it. Yeah, that was... Yeah. So I'm hoping that tire is actually okay, because that's kind of sharp. <laughs> I got Have you tried to put air in it? Where's the little... Is it like a... Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the little valve stem. So like, I just want to get this one up and moving and like basically just have one... I don't care how sketchy it is to put right back together, but I just want it to like be together and ready to go. Yeah. So I can kind of use it as an example to build that one. Like all the things I don't like about the redneckness of this one, I'm just going to use to mm. fix on that. She all gassed up and ready to go? She got gas, huh? Yep. dude almost all right guys so as you saw in the clips we did have an issue where when we gave this thing a little bit of throttle it was choking out and then hoppy made a few adjustments idle and such he hit the throttle and the thing jumped so he hopped on and uh it's trying to move it's just not quite there yet but we're getting there flat tire could be causing it to stall out too so we were thinking maybe that what was causing the engine to kind of choke out was actually maybe not an air fuel mixture or an idle issue it might just be that the detrike is trying to move and it can't and so it's stalling just like when you let the clutch out without enough gas so we have a couple working theories but it's trying to move let's see That's gonna do it for drift trikes round one. We had a ton of fun with these things. Finally got one of them up and running. Up next is gonna be some plastic tires and a whole nother trike. So what's that? Up and move. As always guys, feel free to leave a like down below if you did enjoy the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.